Hey everybody, this is Stitch1993, and welcome back to another VHS Pile, where I talk about television shows or movies uh, that their only physical media is through VHS. Now, if this is your first time uh, watching these videos, I want to say welcome. And uh, what I do is I review the actual VHS box and tape itself, and then I kind of go over into a little bit of description of what's on the tape. Uh, so today we are looking at Play School's GoBots. Uh, now this is not the GoBots some of you probably grew up with. This was a GoBots uh, later known as Transformers GoBots. That's right. Uh, by Play School and Hasbro back in 2003. Uh, this VHS particularly uh, was a little add-on to some of the figures that you could buy at the time when they were releasing these. Now, just to go into a little bit of a brief history on the toys and the franchise, the word GoBots itself, just to get everybody up to speed here. So GoBots originally was a Tonka line uh, that released between 1983 and 1987. It was a, now it, Tonka did eventually get bought out by Hasbro, and then um, in 2003, following the success of Transformers, Armada, and uh, Robots in Disguise. Uh, they wanted to bring GoBots back, so they uh, released it as their more uh, children children friendly line, especially for ages between like three to five year olds. So still had um, the limited movement and uh, what you needed to do in order to transform the figures from their vehicle or later on animal form uh, into the robot form. Uh, they were a lot more chunky too. Uh, it, these figures were really, really big, really, you'd want them, these were definitely for little kids' hands, um, very colorful as well. And so, uh, alongside some of the figurines, you could get a extra free VHS that was inside the box along with a figure. And uh, that's how I came upon uh, this copy, or at least the copy I grew up with. This is a, a new copy I bought off of eBay for the video here. But I do, I did grow up with this VHS and do have very fond memories of watching this over and over and over again while playing with uh, the uh, character you'll see on the um, front cover here, Speedbot. And uh, yeah, a lot of the, it, unlike uh, Transformers, the GoBots had a lot of... Um, very just basic name. So you have Speedbot, which is the car, Aerobot is the plane, Buzzerbot is a bug bot, and so on and so forth. With that all in mind, let's get to the VHS. So these episodes uh, only released on VHS. Now there's only two episodes on this VHS, but uh, during my research, I saw that there was actually two more episodes made and they were made for like a very limited television appearance it appears only in new york and chicago and the it looks like the only year twice sometime in march or april of 2005 okay so with all that all said let's look at the vhs so on the front here we have of course a nice bright orange box uh, with a play school logo in the top left hand corner of course the big go bots go with the dash in the middle bots uh, logo here. I say that because the original uh, GoBots did not have a dash in it. It was just G-O-B-O-T-S. It was all one word. So, uh, of course, we've got Aerobot and Speedbot on the front here. And uh, I believe these are made just for the VHS, these drawings here. Um, although they could be, of course, captured and like re-inked but uh, it looks like they were made specifically for this VHS here. And then at the bottom, of course, it says Year One, Mission Earth. And it lists the two episodes. Episode One, Typhoon Twister. And Episode Two, Arctic Oil Spill. And then on the uh, top here, we've got the, of course, uh, orange background again with the GoBots logo. And then the episodes One and Two listed again. On the left and right hand side, you definitely are going to tell that this was made for pre-packaging because instead of, you know, the title being on the uh, main uh, spine 
of the tape hit the main thing is free video with purchase of action figure and then of course you got the GoBots logo twice uh, one at the top and one on the left and that's on uh, both sides here and um, doesn't even have like the VHS logo or anything uh, which is very interesting looking at the back here we have year one mission earth the mighty GoBots have been protecting the galaxy since the beginning of time. Each year they select a new planet to save, and now, for the first time, they are coming to Earth. With GoBots, anything is possible because they have the ability to change to become something new. And then we've got uh, two photos, screenshots of the episodes themselves here. And of course it goes uh, into a bit of description of both episodes. Episode 1, Typhoon Twister. Silverbot is making waves, and now the planet's in peril. Aerobot, the leader of Earth's new GoBots team, must protect Earth from a typhoon started accidentally by young Silverbot. Though the world is in danger, Aerobot, along with Speedbot, Strongbot, Beastbot, and Buzzerbot, are up to the challenge. Watch these heroic marvels as they change forms and work together to find the perfect solution. They'll tame the raging typhoon. In Episode 2, Arctic Oil Spill. The Earth is racing out of control with Mototron at helm. This reckless robot has landed on Earth where, as quick as you can say zoom, his actions have created an oil spill, wrecked a fishing village, and pushed the Earth to a brink of doom. But even now, Aerobot is leading Speedbot and Strongbot to the Arctic North on a dangerous mission to protect the environment and clean up Mototron's mess. And then, of course, we got at the bottom uh, the uh, copyright information, the Play School, and Hasbro logos. The tape itself is the normal black tape with uh, the white sticker on the front. Of course, we've got the Play School, GoBots, and Hasbro logos, including the titles of the two episodes, Typhoon Twister and Arctic Oil Spill. Uh, of course, it's telling that the uh, episodes, of course, are in color. And then uh, this is the only place we're going to find out the actual length of this video, which is an astonishing 11 minutes uh, each. So uh, that means that each episode is 11 minutes, so it's about 22 minutes long. And that's including uh, the opening titles and the credits. Now, each of the episodes is pretty short. Uh, the really the back of the VHS tape really does explain most of the plot here. Uh, episode one, uh, Silverbot, which is basically just Aerobot but with a silver coat of paint, uh, comes to Earth and is just fooling around and accidentally makes a typhoon because of his thrusters, I guess. And then it's up to all the other robots to, you know, save the locals and stop Silverbot. And, of course, in the end, n nobody dies. There's no battles. It's just kind of, uh, this was definitely uh, a made-for-little-kids episode because they all learn a lesson. And uh, Silverbot uh, basically goes back to the uh, GoBot's home planet to, uh, I guess, train to be a better GoBot. And then kind of the same plot point happens in Arctic Oil Spill, although there is a bit of a race uh, between Mototron and Speedbot, uh, where uh, Mototron keeps on, you know, doing reckless things and, as it says, causes an oil spill. And then uh, Speedbot has to race him, and, uh, and then if he wins, then Mototron will stop doing what he's doing. And then... Yeah, the, the fix the oil spill and, you know, fix and help the locals again and, ah, da gosh darn it, Speedbot wins and Mototron has to go back to GoBot World to learn his lesson and um, the all in on a happy note. Uh, the animation is really nice looking for these episodes here. Uh, I'm never, uh, of course, because the other two episodes never came onto any sort of VHS, they're only on YouTube. I haven't really watched them, uh, but from the screenshots I've seen online, the uh, animation is uh, about on par with these two episodes here. I would definitely recommend checking this VHS out if you like GoBots or just Transformers stuff in general. Uh, the VHS is pretty cheap to come by <laughs> as opposed to, um, the GoBot toys themselves. Uh, I wish I knew to hang on to those because uh, I've never seen them out in the wild. 
and uh, they're getting pretty pricey so it um, looks like through my research here they didn't really sell well no surprise I enjoyed them though and uh, I still have fond memories of playing with Speedbot and transforming him and then transforming him multiple and multiple times and watching the VHS in my bedroom but um, yeah, let me know down in the comments what your guys' thoughts are on this VHS. Did you grow up with these type of GoBots? Did you grow up with this VHS? Or is this the first time you're hearing about any of it? Uh, if there are any VHSs that you'd like me to look into and review on a later date, of course, comment down below. And please remember to like and subscribe for future videos. And until next time, thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye. Wherever there is trouble, we'll be there. Go, go, GoBots!